A mayor in Pennsylvania has declared a state of emergency. It happened yesterday following a shooting and murder spree. Four people, including a two-year-old boy, have been killed in the last week and a half in the city of Chester, which is about 15 miles away from Philadelphia. Mayor Wendell Butler says enough is enough. It's very disappointing, but we're not going to give up. The emergency declaration puts five sections of the city under heavy police control and implements a 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, which is set to last for at least five days. A city in crisis is turning to drastic measures. Chester is now declaring a state of emergency. Hello, I'm Dave Huddleston. Natasha is off tonight. Chester's mayor says a rash of violence has prompted him to take dramatic action. The story is still developing right now. The murder of two-year-old Terrence Webster shot to death Sunday is the most horrific example of the violence in the city of Chester. But it is just one of four homicides in the last week and a half here. So now Chester Mayor Wendell Butler is declaring a police state across five of the most crime-ridden sections of this city. The mayor declared a five-day state of emergency Saturday that will bring in state police and federal officers to help patrol the streets. No one can be on them from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. without a legitimate reason, and police can stop and question anyone violating that curfew. Chester's latest homicide, a man found shot to death on the 400 block of Rose Street, spurred the mayor to take action. It happened last night at about 7 o'clock here at 8th and Caldwell. Shots were fired into a playground packed with about 75 to 100 people. When police arrived, they found four people had been hit by bullets. One of the victims, a 19-year-old man, he died from his injuries. The other victim's injuries aren't life-threatening. Now, police also tell us that another man showed up at Crozier Chester Medical Center with a gunshot wound to the neck. They're now working to confirm that he was, in fact, involved in the same shooting back at the playground. As for the investigation, police say witnesses reported seeing the shots fired from a car heading northbound, possibly a white Crown Victoria. It is getting out of hand. The senseless violence on the streets of Chester. That's why there are more police out tonight, including state troopers. That's why no one's allowed on the streets tonight. This is the result of four murders in just eight days, one of them a little boy. Saturday night, the big story at Action News is a state of emergency in Chester, Delaware County. The mayor has declared it, police are enforcing it, and our Catherine Scott is covering it. Catherine? At 9 o'clock, the state of emergency officially began. Patrols dispersing to saturate five areas of Chester where homicides are on the rise. I, Wendell N. Butler Jr., as the mayor of the city of Chester, the mayor called the state of emergency after he learned of the fourth homicide in eight days on the 400 block of Rose Street. He believes these acts of violence are not random, but targeted retaliation. Vacation and personal days for Chester police have been canceled, and they're looking to hire eight additional officers. The state police committed more troopers, the sheriff's department more officers, and the district attorney more investigators with the goal of restoring order in five sections of Chester under the state of emergency. From the west side of Lamoke and Street to the city's western boundary. The area is bounded by 9th Street, Morton Avenue, and the city's eastern boundary. From the east side of Edgemont Avenue to Upland Street between 20th and 2701 Madison Street. The area is bounded by Crosby Street and the city's boundary with Upland Borough between 12th Street and 14th Street. And the area is bounded by Penn and Parker Streets between 3rd and 6th. Police in Chester, Delaware County are trying to determine who shot a tow truck driver and why. The driver was shot while responding to a call. Action News reporter Walter Perez live at police headquarters in Chester with the latest on that. Good evening, Walter. Well, Monica, it happened in broad daylight at about 10 o'clock this morning along the 2100 block of Edgemont Avenue. A tow truck driver simply doing his job is shot. So the question now is, was it random gunfire or was the victim the intended target? Investigators say the tow truck driver was on the scene after the Philadelphia Auto Recycling Company was called to remove a broken down vehicle. The tow truck was preparing to collect the vehicle when a gunshot rang out with the bullet striking the driver. The truck then lunged forward, smashing into a tree on the far side of the alley. Local authorities believe the gunshot came from inside one of the nearby row homes. Many of the people we spoke to along the 2100 block of Edgemont Avenue say they're disturbed by what happened, but they're not surprised. Sometimes it can get dangerous out here. Things go on crazy every day. It's a bad neighborhood. They need more security around here. They need more security around here. They go on every day. Every day. 
Every day is something different on Last this corner. Last night at this time, most of them were dancing, enjoying themselves and their friends at a party. Tonight finds them mourning the senseless loss of two friends after the party turned violent. Saturday night, the big story in Action News is a community in mourning, and undoubtedly there are a lot of people shaking their heads and asking, when's it going to stop? Gunfire at a party has left two people dead and seven others wounded. Chad Pradelli is live at Chester Police Headquarters to fill in the rest. Chad? Rob, those seven surviving gunshot victims are in stable condition, according to Chester Police here. Police have three suspects in custody related to last night's violence, but they believe they're looking for more people. Smart, so bright. Oh, my gosh. 18-year-old Robella Boy's father and other relatives wept during a vigil for their loved one and others wounded in last night's mass shooting in Chester. Innocent bystander, just a kid out, you know, at a birthday party. I just don't understand it. I pray for everybody that got hurt. It's just sad. I feel sad. My heart goes out to everybody. The tragedy unfolded just before midnight. A birthday celebration at the Temple Minaret ended in gunfire. Police have one juvenile in custody charged with weapons offenses. Chester police say ballistic tests will determine if he's charged with homicide. LaBoy and 17-year-old David Johnson were killed in the gunfire. They're trying to get to the bottom of what, what this was in reference to and why it occurred. The birthday party was for Leslie Staples' 19-year-old daughter, Kalisha Coleman. Coleman and one other person are charged with resisting arrest, risking a catastrophe and other related charges. This part of town don't like that part of town. And these are babies. These are children. And, and now it's erupting to gunplay, you know, and I, they, they don't know what life is about. Just as troubling for police, witnesses are not cooperating. And they say with over 100 people packing the temple, people know who opened fire. But they fear the don't snitch mentality has too strong a hold on this community. I keep telling y'all, when it knocks on your door at 12 o'clock at night, don't come and say we didn't know. We, we have to pay attention to what our children are doing and what they're saying, okay? Start talking to them and passing this inform information on. And Rob, you may recall last summer there was a curfew implemented here in Chester because of a string of violence. One has not been implemented because of last night's violence, but police say the violence has to stop and people need to come forward so more suspects can be arrested in this case. I'm live in Chester. Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Rob, thank you very much. Drastic Chad. measures to keep the city of Chester safe. The city's mayor is instituting a curfew in some neighborhoods. It runs until Thursday morning. No one will be allowed out between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. And at no time will three or more people be allowed to gather outside without a permit. Eyewitness News reporter Elizabeth Hur is live in Chester to tell us what led to this dramatic decision, Liz. Well, we're told the murder rate here in Chester has prompted the mayor to take action. We're talking 11 homicides so far this year, four of them just in the past week. That means the mayor will get state police, Delaware County Sheriff's deputies, and federal agents to help patrol the streets. Mayor Butler knows the community is equally outraged, and to better protect the residents, he is hoping to hire more police officers. No one on the force right now can take a vacation day. All must work 12-hour shifts, and some of them will work 16 hours a day. Unfortunately, what I'm dealing with is targeted violence. So they may not be random, but the mayor admits it is still troubling. So he says on Wednesday he will go before city council and ask that this lockdown be extended another 30 days, and he is confident that his request will be honored. Reporting live from Chester, I'm Elizabeth Hurst, CBS3 Eyewitness News.